Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're going to talk about another part of the pest analysis. And what we're going to look at now is the international aspects, this international macro influence that could influence your business that you need to deal with. And you might be asking yourselves, uh, Mark, why are you doing this in the cornfields of Illinois? Shouldn't it be someplace international and cool and stuff like that? Well, that's the point international things happening can influence your business even here in the cornfields of Illinois. If you think about it, China's had a horrible time. Their pig population has been decimated. So how does that affect us in the corn industry in the U.S.? Well, if we sell cow and pig feed and that cow and pig feed eventually gets sold to China and there's no more pigs, well, that means that demand's going away and we're starting to see, oh, there's an impact effect on us here. We have to think about that. Yeah, it is. You'll be surprised how international things abroad can come and influence our business. And if you think about it, how many of you sang along to Despacito or Humpum Gingham style, right? I mean, those aren't from the U.S. They're from other places. And you have this influence that comes in. BTS, come on, who doesn't sing along with them, right? I mean, I wish I could dance like, uh, I can't dance like that, but you get the point. I mean, there's so many things that come from all over that it really can influence it, whether it's fashion, technology, music, food. Hey, how many of you like your sriracha mayo or your sriracha chips or your sriracha sauce? It's not from Illinois, it's from international and these things come in and they can influence. And so what we have to do as businesses is, hey, is this an opportunity for us? Is this a threat for us? What can we do? So you've seen a lot of food places, whether you're going to Subway or getting a Heinz mayo sriracha sauce, they've taken the sriracha that's become popular from abroad and they're instituted in their foods. It's given them a great chance to grow. And the thing is, there's international threats you have to think about as well. It's not all just happy how sriracha has influenced all of our lives and made it tastier. No, there's other things you have to think about because you think about maybe competition coming in from abroad, right? You might not have ever thought about about the competition from a Chinese company or a Mexican company or a Canadian company and now hey it's all online so we're competing against everybody for online prices what do we do we have to take that into account so businesses have to look at that but the thing is a lot of times I feel the international influence has been a great thing because it gives you new ideas just in time inventory management yes thank you very much let's get it in get it out less inventory less space wasted and warehouses great we can find problems sooner this is awesome and so the international stuff helps us learn that. And the thing is, is we can borrow these ideas we learn from abroad. I know we've all seen the Big Mac, but if you go to Finland, you'll see a place called Hesburger. It's a, it's a fast food burger joint. And they have the Keros Hamperleinen, or sometimes they call it the Hesburger, with, which looks just like a Big Mac, but it's a thousand times tastier, by the way. But which one came first? Were they influenced by them or vice versa? I mean, I, Big Mac probably came first. And then the Hesburger, the Keros Hamperleinen came, and you're like, huh we could do something like that why don't we oh yeah and so you can see how international some of it will affect you some of it won't i mean what does sriracha have to do with i don't know a bar that doesn't really affect us but it could affect us if we have you know food at our bar then they people might want sriracha mayo with their cheese curds who knows all right so just something to think about when you're doing the pest analysis so i know it's pest but sometimes it's called pestle and the i is international so this is one of those things here so i want you to know there's some really cool things whether it's music and food but there's other things you have to look at like competition and such so I wish you all the best and I'll say bye from the growing cornfields of Illinois, which will eventually be turned into feed that will be fed to some animals somewhere around the world. So there you go. Bye.